imported or made by yourself fan bales. When you buy the imported ready to made ready made fan bales, it's nice to be able to make them personal. And it's very easy to do if you with a little bit of practice. And I first I'm going to show you some examples of things I've done to make these different. These are fan bales that I import and sell. This particular style has three colors, yellow, orange, and red. And the bamboo sticks are a very soft off-white. I decided I would like to make some look a bit smoky. So I took tumble dye and sprayed black charcoal gray on the top to give it a little bit of a smoky, smoldering look. It's a very subtle effect, but I think very nice. And I'm using them in the wrong hands, obviously. But it makes them look different. It gives a different mood. This looks more like smoldering embers, and this more, looks more like a bright flame. The next set I'm going to show you is on my site. This one has uh, a soft kind of a turquoise and yellow and green. Very pretty. I decided I would like to see what it looked like with a darker blue, a royal blue. So I sprayed it on both sides with tumble dye to give it that effect. And it's quite a different look and a, quite a different color. If I had wanted to, I could have left that blue as it is and added this blue to the green to make a deeper green or added the dye, the blue dye, to the yellow to make it a green. Many different choices when you do it yourself. And you'll notice that I also spray dyed with tumble dye the bamboo staves, and they take it fairly well. The next one I'll show you is no longer on my site, but gives you some idea of what you can do with colors. This was yellow. This was is a light blue, and that's a purple. But I sprayed the yellow with a magenta, and it gives it a very different look. You can match a different costume or the colors that are in your costume. Another thing you can do besides dyeing a section is to take the tumble dye and dye a long line down the center or down each side, again, to give a different look to your ready-made fan, fan veil. These are on my website, and I do lots of different things with these. This one is a green, shading into a lighter green, shading into white. Well, not everyone wants white in their fan, and you might have a, co a costume where you combine blue and green. So I dyed the top part of it, the lighter green and the white, with a blue dye, and it gives, again, a different look. Another set that I made different or customized is this. It started out as a pink, shading into a lighter pink, shading into a white, and I dyed it with red to make it warmer and less pink, more of a rosy color. If you want a larger Mulan type fan, you can take the, remove the fabric from my Chinese fans and add your own fabric. And rather than having a four inch overhang, which is about how long this extends over, 
you can have a much longer overhang, about almost about a foot, 12 inches longer. And again, it's a different feeling, a different look. All of them have been done with these bands. And here's another set made with the same oriental Asian fans that I sell on my site. They are right and left-handed, by the way. And I just took some, in this case, polyester fabric, which is quite easy to work with. And since they're not fan veils, uh, polyester works just fine. I cut out the semicircle, glued on to the fan stays, and then dyed part of them. Again, you have a big overhang here, which lends itself to many different sorts of looks, but very manipulative easy to manipulate because, again, they are right and left-handed. If you're not sure what I mean when I say right and left-handed, let me demonstrate. I hope that you can see this. If you get a set of fans and you're not sure, open the fan fully. If it doesn't open fully, then you've, uh, in your right hand, then it's a left-handed fan. For instance, I could turn this over and use this with my left hand, but my thumb would not be resting on the highest part of the fan and still able to easily keep it open. So the part of the fan that is highest, your thumb should rest on it. If it's right-handed, your right thumb should rest on it. If it's left-handed, your left thumb should rest on it. I'll come back. I'm not sure how well this will show, but you just look at the fan, open it fully, and see which section is the highest, which blade is the highest, and see if it rests nicely in the palm of your hand and with your thumb resting on the highest part. With my left hand, that wouldn't be true. It wouldn't be nestled into the palm of my hand. I would ha have trouble keeping this open. Using my bamboo staves, I made a couple of fans, not fan bales, I don't call them fan bales because they're not long enough, out of a straight piece of fabric. And so the look is quite different. It looks as if it has little tails. I liked this because the fabric was dark, the bamboo blades are relatively dark, and it just gives a nice, uh, interesting effect, something a little different. Two more that I made using those Asian fans are fan bales, right and left handed. And again, if you get them and it doesn't open fully, that means you've got it on the wrong side. Well, this is a right handed, so it opens completely that way. If I tried to open it the other way, it wouldn't open completely. And here is a left handed. These were made, I made from a veil that I cut in half and glued onto my fan staves. I had removed the existing fa uh, fabric that came with them, and I think it turned out very well, and they're very lovely. When I do any of these procedures with uh, gluing, them, gluing the fan staves on, I have detailed that in my DVDs, Strictly, Strictly Silk Fan Bales, and super fans. And after I've done all the gluing, I fray check, I drizzle fray check along the unsealed edges, along the sides, along all of the sides, and in this semicircle. And uh, I have detailed instructions on how to do that on my website. I hope that this helps. Uh, fray check is easily available. Tool of Dye is available online or in most hobby stores. And please email me. And if you want detailed instructions, they are on my website, uh, in my DVDs, Super Fans and Strictly Silk Fan Bales. Thanks. Hope this helped.